Hello, Taurus viewers. I'm going to look in and see what your person's thinking, feeling, wanting, uh, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Let's just see what the story is. have pride and stubbornness choosing their words wisely planning their approach yeah it seems like maybe somebody um spoke out of turn like maybe some this could be you or this could be your person but it's it seems like there's this energy here that maybe somebody acted out of pride or maybe they um they let you go or they just said something they didn't mean as a way to kind of defending themselves or maybe they there was some miscommunication here or something of that sort and now they're kind of realizing they messed up and maybe they shouldn't have said that or maybe they they spoke too soon. They Maybe they shouldn't have left so quickly. Maybe they should have given it more of a chance. Um, so they're wanting to choose their words wisely. They're, they're trying to figure out how to plan their approach and, and what to say to you because they don't want any more miscommunication. Yeah, apology, regret. Yeah, they don't want any more miscommunication with you. This is pretty good energy. So we've got apology, regret, and then we have courage, assertiveness, motivation, and forward movement. So it's like this person has whatever they said or did, whether it was just they let you go or they chose somebody else or they, um, you know, there's that energy of it's these two people that like want to talk, but they're like, they, they want to be in the same room with each other. It's like they want to be near each other and they won't, but they won't admit that they love each other. They won't admit how strong their feelings are, but they can't let go of each other either. And it's like maybe they just, they made, they know that they made the wrong choice or they said the wrong thing or they did the wrong thing. So, so they're trying to figure out what to say. I think that they're worried that you're going to tell them off or they're worried that it's too late or they're just, they're kind of overthinking it a little bit. But I almost feel like this person feels like they have nothing left to lose. Like they already lost you or they already don't, like you guys already aren't in communication or the communication is kind of restrained like you don't talk as much as you you guys could be talking something of that sort so it's like what do they have left to lose is kind of their mentality here but with cur courage or assertiveness motivation forward movement yeah they're wanting to come forward they're wanting to say something they're wanting to they're you know trying to manifest you back we've got magic intention power manifestation uh, fast moving energy chaos sudden turn of events this could be you manifesting them back too maybe you've been doing love drawing rituals or you've just been putting that energy like into the universe or like using a vision board or something trying to manifest this person back into your life and now it's coming in really quickly yeah this is really good energy that you guys are getting here look what we have here we've got open honest communication message they are wanting to message you they are wanting to tell you that you are their happiness their warmth their light um I feel like, I really feel like this person feels like they already lost you. And this this energy makes sense, actually, because the last reading I did for you guys, I was getting that this might be, a th for some of you, um, I'd say like 80% of you, this is probably a third-party situation. And it's like they left you for somebody else, but the grass wasn't really greener on the other side of the fence. Um, it's like they chose somebody else, like they wanted to go out and explore their options, see what else was out there. And now they're wanting this familiarity and they're wanting their, their rock back. They're wanting you back. But it's kind of like, I feel like it's too late for a lot of them. I think a lot of you have already moved on from this. A lot of you, like you don't want to be anybody's second choice. You want to be somebody's first choice and you know that. And so I think that is why like they're coming to these realizations now. But they do have this, this hesitation and these mixed feelings. I think because they were seduced by some other energy. Now, they could have been seduced by another person, by a third party that they left you for. They could have... Um, sorry, I just realized how crooked my camera is. Let me straighten that out for you guys. Sorry. <laughs> it 
technical difficulties here. Okay, that's a little bit better. Anyway, um, they could have been seduced by, by again, a person. This could have been, they maybe moved to a new location. Maybe they um, put their job first and they were just working all the time and they refused to make time for you. Or they just had other things that they were focused on. Like they were kind of looking away from you. They were kind of, they wanted to go out and kind of live their lives and, and see what else the world had to offer. It was almost like you were like old reliable to them. Like you were their rock and you were their stability and their comfort. But it's like they wanted to break free of that and see what else the world had to offer. Um, and so they did that, but now they're realizing that was a mistake and they want that familiarity and that comfort back. But it's like, you don't want somebody who only realizes they love you once they've lost you, you know? It's like this person feels that you've shifted away from them, that your energy is not, they don't have that rock anymore. They don't have that stability with you anymore. You've kind of shifted your energy towards other things now. And, and so that's why the, where the hesitation comes in because they know that they messed up. They are well aware that they made the wrong choice. Um, and so they're not sure what to do. What, what else can we say about this situation? Willpower, strength, and confidence. Yeah. You know, if this person is toxic, it is going to take some willpower and strength and confidence to, to um, you know, move past it. I think it's also saying that if they, some of them might have gotten themselves stuck in a toxic situation with somebody else. Like some of them did show, choose a karmic over you, and now they're dealing with drama from this person. And now it's like hard for them to get away from them. And they're like, oh crap, I should have just stayed with the person I was originally with. Hmm. Someone might be seeing somebody else's social media pet posts and getting kind of sad about it, kind of jealous, kind of angry, kind of sad. There's just a lot of confusion and uncertainty whether this person is still your person or not. Um, and it's going to be up to you to use your intuition and discernment like to decide if you want to go for this again, if you want to give us another chance. Personally, I wouldn't. But, you know, I'm kind of stubborn like that. If somebody cheated on me or somebody left me for someone else, I don't know. I don't. I mean, I guess there's certain situations where it's like maybe, maybe in certain situations. But for the most part, I can't see myself wanting to give someone that chose someone else over me another chance. Because the reality is it's like this person you came second in this person's life. You know what I mean? It's like they, if they had gone and fallen madly in love with somebody, they would probably just stay with that person. They wouldn't come back to you. What happened was they went and whatever it was, whether it was a person or it was a job or a situation or like new, new house, whatever, whatever the energy was that they were seduced by, but that they left you for and put you on hold and on the side for whatever that energy was, it didn't really pan out for them. It didn't go as well as they thought it was going to go. And so now they're wanting to um, come back to you. But again, it's like they're, they're doing that because it didn't pan out for them. If it had if it had all gone well for them, if they had fallen in love with that person, if the if the the if they moved away and that you know did go well for them, they would they would be happy. They would be fine without you. You know what I mean? They're just wanting. It's just like a comfort thing. Like they're wanting that familiarity back. Is what I feel for most of you. Not for all of you. I'm sure there's a couple of you that maybe this really is your person, and maybe they really did just make a mistake. But but again, you got to use your own intuition and discernment to decide that. Like. You no, know, did they put you second or like what was going on in that situation with you guys? Like you got to really think about that. Um, decide if this person deserves a second chance. Like I do feel like this person does love you. They do miss you. They do want you back. They do want to apologize. But and then, like I said, for a couple of you, maybe this is something you should give another chance to. For the majority of you, though, I personally, I don't think I would want to give this another chance if they put me on the side like that. What can you tell me about new love? I have someone kind of watching your social media and trying to figure out how to pull you in and how to kind of being flirty here, trying to figure out how they can pull you in, what to say to you. And they might be watching your post too if you've been depressed or the ex if you've been posting about that. 
They might see that you're lonely, that you're, you have these toxic patterns, that you might be submissive to the ex. So this person might be kind of wary because they're like, are you over the ex or not? Or they might be aware of the ex in some way. So I hope that makes sense. Um, if this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe to me. And I also have reading specials going on for January. It is $40 for a 30 plus minute reading. It is five pendulum questions for $5. Um, I am available today to do those. So, and my contact info is below. So thank you for watching.